Good afternoon everyone, Mike Higgins for Seven National News. Australia's consumer price index rose by 3.5% in the September quarter, pushing the annual inflation rate up to 12.3%. Increased hospital, medical and health insurance charges made a big contribution and the cost of petrol, fares and liquor rose sharply during the quarter. The September quarter rise is the biggest since the 4.2% rise of December last year which was also heavily influenced by health costs. It compared with a rise of 2.4% in the June quarter and 2% in the September quarter of last year. Budget measures such as increases in sales tax and the beer and tobacco excise have had a significant effect on the latest figures. Chamberlain Trial Defence Counsel John Phillips QC says the most important allegation, the question of motive for the alleged murder of baby Azaria Chamberlain, was never put to the accused Lindy Chamberlain. In his final address to the Northern Territory Supreme Court in Darwin today, Mr Phillips said the prosecution was bereft of a reason why Mrs Chamberlain should kill her baby. 34-year-old Lindy Chamberlain has denied murdering her baby daughter Azaria at Ayers Rock in August 1980. Her 38-year-old husband Michael has pleaded not guilty to being an accessory after the fact. Mr Phillips said from witness after witness the defence produced proof of Mrs Chamberlain's love and affection for her baby. Mr Phillips said Prosecutor Ian Barker QC did not put the question of motive to Mrs Chamberlain because he could not think of a reason why she would kill her child. In Northern Ireland, a deadline for the life of a Roman Catholic hostage has passed without immediate word from his Protestant kidnappers if he was dead or alive. The extremists had threatened to kill the man if Catholic guerrillas did not free a Protestant militiaman they're holding. The whereabouts and fate of both the abducted men remain unknown as the deadline came and went. Cricket and Queensland is in a good position to defeat England on the final day of the match at the Gabba. Queensland declared its second innings closed this morning at 5 for 435, leaving England to chase 360 for victory. A short time ago, England was 2 for 65. Now the weather, a little overcast outside at the moment. It'll be mostly fine with a light shower or two and light to moderate southeast to northeast winds. Down to 26 tonight. Uh, sorry, that's a bit warm for night time. 26 is the maximum tomorrow in uh, the viewing area in Brisbane and 16 degrees tonight. That's all for now. More 7 National News, one hour's time. When it comes to news, Frank Warwick believes in getting involved. Every day he's out on the road getting stories as they break and then he presents them. Frank Warwick, a journalist and reader. Another good reason why 7 National News is Brisbane's most watched program.